What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today <laughs> We've got another Punjab Kings win the 11th IPL match of the season Punjab vs CSK Down there in Brabourne Stadium in Mumbai um, <laughs> I mean I tell you what Punjab Kings where are all the haters now? Where are all the haters now? No, okay. I won't get ahead of myself because I know it's only the third game. I know that there is still plenty of more games to go. And I know that there is still plenty of more time for the Punjab Kings to fuck this up for ourselves. Which would be no surprise at all. But hey, while we're winning, I'm going to enjoy <laughs> every single win we get. And every time it's great cricket, I'm going to enjoy it. So, um, hey. Punjab, we're two and one. CSK are zero and three to start the season. I don't know, you know. I'm, I know, obviously, there's a lot of CSK fans out there. Are you worried? I'd be pretty worried. I mean, starting zero and three is never ideal. Um, but again, long se a long, <laughs> a long season, uh, and you know, as long as they don't lose another game, they should be okay. So no pressure at all to CSK. But hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. If you like IPL, you like cricket, just subscribe. Be a part. Be a part of what we're building here. But hey, all right. We're going to jump straight into the review because I'm ready to talk about this game. Player of the match <laughs> was the Englishman himself, Liam Livingston. So he just, you know, we bat first. He makes 60 off 32. You say that's a pretty good day out. He hit, some, he hit up like 210 meter sixes. He was on fire. And then he said, you know what? That's not good enough for me. I'm going to come out here. I'm then going to bowl three overs. I'm going to take two for 25. And then he took about two amazing crowd catches. Well, not crowd catches. Field, f outfield catches. Uh, this is as good as like a performance you can have in any game possible. Like to, as an all-rounder, especially a part-timer like Livingston, to take two for 25 and make 60 off 32. Two beautiful catches in the crowd. I mean, that's just a day out. For the big Livo. And he's one of the few England players that I've always been a fan of. I've never disliked Livingston. Um, well, that might not be true. Maybe when he made his debut back in the day. Maybe I'll, yeah, just because he was English, I might have hated on him. But, hey, you've grown on me, Livo. So that's okay, mate. Don't worry about that player in the match. <laughs> you've earned my trust now. All right. Let's jump straight into the scorecard. The Punjab Kings. We were into bat first. And normally, well, the way... It feels like T20 cricket's gone for the last couple of years. You win the toss, you bowl first, and then you'll chase. And most likely, at least 75 to 80% of the time, if you're chasing, you're going to probably end up getting the win. Especially, probably, in, well, not not probably, but it's a very good likely chance um, that you're going to go on and, and get the win if you're chasing. But, hey, it's a Pajab Kings. We defy odds over here. Um, hey, just exciting stuff, so... Agarwal, you know, our captain can't even make any runs and we're still able to win, which if you told me before the season started that Mayank Agarwal would not make anything more than 15 runs in the first three games, I would have said we didn't win a game, did we? But we've won two out of, two out of three and Agarwal has made literally no impact on the team except for his, you know, captaincy and, you know, he's a, I guess he's a great fielder as well. But we do need him to make some runs. So Mayank, please. Yeah, it was a lazy shot to get him out as well. Um, if you guys are not on Twitter either, or if you are on Twitter and you don't follow me already, jump on there, follow me, because I was tweeting all... I'm, every time I'm watching an IPL game, I'm normally at least tweeting something about it or tweeting anything about cricket or sports. So go and follow me over there, join in the conversation, because that's where I'm the most active, um, and I'm always talking about cricket. So that's just a little bit more. If you're an extra um, and you're an OG and you want to join in the convo on Twitter... Go ahead. Um, Shikha Darwan, 33 off 24. He just played a real anchor role. I mean, he did, he only got to face 24 deliveries. And he was out there around... When when did Shikha go out? The fall of Wicket. He was out there at the 9.6 over and, and, and only faced 24 deliveries for an opener. That's what happens when Liam Livingston just says, you know what, today's my day. And Shikha, you're not getting any of the strike, mate. <laughs> He's like, you're not getting any of this goddamn strike. Um, he, you know, he, but he did play his role beautifully. He just rotated strike. He realized Livington was the hot, the hot hand. You've got to get this guy back on strike. And he did it really well. Of course, going out for 33 is never ideal, but one six, four fours, you know, where 
I don't think my expectations coming into this season were, oh, Shikha Darwin, he's going to win the orange cap. He's going to be, you know, like 2015 Shikha Darwin or whatever, or 2017 Shikha Darwin, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> um, but, you know, I wasn't expecting that, but this is what I can expect. And hey, I love Shikha. I love seeing his celebration um, whenever he takes a catch as well. So I'm loving what I'm seeing from the opening partnership, except... I'm not really, because we need to make some runs, Agarwal. So make some runs! Um, Roger Paxa in at number three. Um, did he come in at three or four these last? No, three. Uh, nine or five. Look, Roger Paxa, mate. You just... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Woo! All right. You've, you've impressed me. You've impressed me a lot. Um, you know, would I normally recommend a IPL team to buy a player from Sri Lanka? Probably not. But he's impressed me. Last game, he's made a 31 off nine. He's, you know, he, he can clearly strike the ball as hard as anyone I've seen in the league. Um, he, he seems to be able to play most parts of the ground as well. Uses his feet pretty well to the pace. Whenever there's a bouncer, he seems to try and get around it. You know, try and put it for six or a hook shot of some sort. He's impressive. But what the fuck was that run out? I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? There was no run. You just hit it right to where the bowler is going to start bowling. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand what he was doing. Shikha Darwin's at the other end saying, Go back. Raja, go fucking back. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop trying to run out Shikha Darwin when you... <laughs> go back. Why are you running like three quarters up the pitch when the ball is literally right next to the stumps almost? It made no sense to me. And then it was a great throw um, from Chris Jordan in to, to MS Dhoni, who, you know, I mean, he's old enough to go and go into a retirement home and go play golf for the rest of his life, is Dhoni. But he's still out here playing cricket, and he's still giving it 110%, diving at stumps and making an impact on the ground. And, you know, that's why CSK are so hesitant to ever want to move on from Dhoni, because it doesn't matter if Dhoni is 45 or, or, or was 24. He can still do that with his with his conditions now. Um, and he's looking very slim, very fit out there as well. So Donny's looking he's looking pretty good this season. So I I I mean it's probably too early, but I would love to see Donny go on again in 2023. That'd be awesome. But who knows? Alright, into the main man of the moment. I mean, we've already spoken about the big Livo, but we'll do it once again. If you haven't um, seen the highlights of this game, or even just Liam Livingston's highlights. Please go and watch them. I mean, just some of the striking ability. He puts every last bit of body muscle that he has into his, his shots. You'll see someone like Chris Gale and, and uh, Chiron Pollard who will just, you know, swing the ball at the bat like they're going to block it and then it just goes to Jupiter for six. For Livingston, he has to put every ounce of body weight into the shot to clear that rope. And <laughs> he gives it everything he's got out there, Livingston. And, yeah, just some beautiful shots. Has hit the biggest six of the competition so far. 108 meters, I think it was. He might have hit a bigger one that night as well. He hit five sixes. He was really good. 60 off 32. You know, we've, we've paid a big price for Livingston. And this is a guy that we've put a lot of money into. A lot of... He's going to be, you know, he's still reasonably young to build around. Like, this is a guy that, you know, we need to be firing. And to see him firing, it makes us such a better team. So... Very exciting. Jitesh Sharma makes his uh, IPL debut. I think that... It, wait, was it his IPL debut or his uh, Punjab... Well, it was his Punjab Kings debut, but I don't know if it was his IPL debut because I think he... Didn't he used to play for Kolkata? Or, I would look it up, but I'm, I'm not going to bother. My phone's almost flat. But, um, hey, I mean, he's like, what, 29, 28, something like that. He's been around for a little bit now. He's a, you know, he's, he's, he's a really good keeper, and we will get into uh, his wicket a bit later on behind the stumps, which was really impressive. But, you know, he came out, hit three sixes. That's his role, I guess, as a finisher. Uh, 26 off 17. I mean, it would have been nice if we could have seen him, you know, finish the game out. Because where did he go out? Where, Jitesh Sharma, where did he go out? In the 14th point fifth, uh, point five delivery, look, if he could have stayed out there for another three delivery, like another three overs in total, he probably goes on, scores 40. We go on and make 200. You know, I know we won easily, but it's going to be the difference one day. So 
Um, we do need someone in this middle order to make runs, so it's good to see someone can make runs in the middle order. Sharuk Khan. Sharuk, look, I know you've got great domestic form. I know you've been in some great form over the last, you know, five to six months. <sighs> but can you tell me what the fuck was that? I mean, what's going on? Sharuk, uh, you're meant to be our finisher, and every time we put him out there, all you do is finish the team. Um, you're not finishing anything but our, our batting 11 and our innings. So, look, Sharuk, you've either got to step up or you've got to take a seat on the bench. I mean, I know that he's a he's a classy player and he's a great, great batsman, but what's what's the point? I mean, he's played three games and he's, he's looked really uncomfortable out there. He doesn't look like he's reading the ball at all. Um, maybe you give him a promotion up the order. Maybe he comes in at number three. Number four, maybe you move Rajapaksa down to four, Shah Rukh Khan maybe at three, maybe Livingston at three, Shah Rukh Khan at four, and then Rajapaksa at five. Like, there's so many combinations, and I really hope um, that Anil Kumble decides to, to switch things up. Because, um, obviously, he I assume it's the head coach making our teams um, and who's going to play. So, Anil, please do something, and do not let Shah Rukh Khan... Keep doing this because he needs he needs to either sit on the bench and serve some drinks or he needs to get up the order and get himself some confidence and get in. That's that's the only way we're going to fix this situation. And speaking of another opener who just kind of, just really frustrates me, Odin Smith. Now, he, he, he won, that first game against RCB, he was awesome. Bold really shit, but, you know, won us the game with the bat. Awesome stuff. Thank you. But gee whiz, we've got to stop bowling him and he's uh, he's not giving us much with the bat. He just doesn't, again, he doesn't look comfortable out there either. He just looks like, all right, shit, this is the IPL. I've got to try and send everything I can over the rope. Like, no, you don't. <laughs> just get the other guys on strike. Rabada not out for 12. Even fucking upgrade Rabada up the order if you have to. Um, Rahul Chaha going for 12. And Aurora not out for one. We will get to him in a moment. The CSK bowlers, Mukesh Chowdhury, look, took a really nice wicket. In the first over of the game, um, to get Agarwal out, he looked really good in those first, you know, two overs, and then after that, it was just fucking carnage. Liam Livingston said, "No chance, mate. You had some confidence. Now I'm going to destroy every ounce of confidence you have." So, I don't know if you could just hear that through the microphone, but there's there was a magpie at my front door that is like howling at me. I don't know if you can hear that through the mic, but anyway, if you can't, then. You probably think I'm a crazy person, which, yeah, maybe. All right, Chris Jordan made his CSK debut. Um, he was with uh, Punjab last season as well, C CJ. So, bit of a revenge game for him. Uh, one for... Th th wait, no, wait. Wait, two for 23 or four. Bowled really well. And, you know, he's not the, the Chris Jordan who used to, you know, steam in at 140 clicks an hour and... Well, not 140. That's an over-exaggeration. Maybe like 130s, mid-130s, but... He still looks pretty good. So you can't be upset with that. Chowdhury, who was getting a little bit of movement as well. I mean, yeah, 52 runs is pretty shit, but impressive, I thought. Just needs to get his length right. DJ Bravo, one for 32 off three. Uh, Jadeja, one for 34 off four. Dwayne Pretorius bowled quite well, two for 30 off four. And the man, Moin Ali, none for eight off one over. So, look, a total of 181 for the Super Kings to chase down. It was always going to be... An interesting run chase, to be honest. I mean, I, I thought CSK were going to go on and chase this down. And luckily, we just bowled really, really well. So before I do that, though, I need a sip of coffee because my throat is... Mm -hmm. When you are when you sit here and you're talking about cricket for like 10, 15, 20 minutes straight without breathing, it feels like, um, yeah, you get a bit, uh, bit, bit dry. That sounds wrong. I'll edit that out. All right, CSK into bat 181 to get the win. Didn't do it. <laughs> you love it. I just had to say that real quick. But all right, Robin Udapau opening with Guykwood, 13 off 10. Um, yeah, just got nothing out of their top three. They only got, they got nothing out of their top one, two, three, four, five. They got nothing out of their top five. Um, you know, some of that was good Punjab Kings bowling. Some of that was just poor decision-making from CSK. Rudaraj Gaikwood, unfortunately, just can't get going at all. 
Uh, I've got a stat here on my phone that I wanted to bring up with everyone. So this is from the man Crick Crazy Johns last night um, on Twitter. So he said, Rutaraj in his first... Actually, I'll just put the graphic on screen. So I'll put the graphic on screen for you right now. Hopefully I remember to do it. But it's just essentially talking about uh, Guykwood's last three seasons. His first three games of every season of the IPL, he's had a really bad start. Like a horrible start in the last three years. So... Maybe nothing to be worried about yet with Guykwood, but he did win an orange cap this year uh, last season. There's big expectations on this boy. Now, don't put too much expectation because he's not Sachin Tendulkar, so he's not the god and the greatest thing to ever come out of cricket, but everyone loves Ruderaj. I'd love to see him get some runs. I'm glad it wasn't against us, though. So that's, you know, that's a positive. Moen Ali going for a duck is just top order obliviation, which we will get into uh, the Punjab bowlers in a moment. Some really exciting things to talk about with our bowling lineup. And Batty Raidu gone for 13 off 21. Of course, he did drop Livingston for uh, for 30 and then, you know, caught him out for 64 or whatever it was. But luckily, it kind of didn't catch them the match. I mean, it kind of probably did in the end. But 13 off 21, he just couldn't get going. Jadeja gone for a duck. And it was at that point when we got, when Arshdeep Singh bowled Jadeja, it was at that point where I said, we're a fair chance to go on and win this. But then I realized MS Dhoni is still yet to bat. So I'm not saying anything until Dhoni is out, back in the sheds, and I do not have to see him hit one more ball. Because any time Dhoni is at the crease, I was nervous as fuck. I'm not even going to lie to you. I literally thought Dhoni was about to come out and just hit 30 off each over. Like, I really thought that's what he was about to do. And that's, that wouldn't have even been a stretch for him to see him do that. Um, but speaking of runs, Shivam Dubey, 57 off 30, six fours, three sixes, batted really well. Um, uh, I mean, CSK were, would have <laughs> almost gone on to win if they could keep Dubey out there with maybe a Deja or Bravo or Dhoni, but, um, yeah, batted really well. And I actually found out something about Shivam Dubey is that I was just looking up his stats last night and all the, his, like, first class stats and stuff like that, um... Just to learn more about him, because I actually don't know too much about Shivam Dubey, but yeah, so I was looking up, you know, stats and stuff about him last night during the game, and it said his birthday was June 26, and if you don't know, that is my birthday, so I officially now realize that I share a birthday with the man Shivam Dubey, and I felt like some of my good energy transferred to Shivam Dubey in Mumbai and gave him this good innings. I don't, I don't want to say it was me. But I'm going to say Shivam Dubey should give me half of, half of his match pay because essentially I got him these 57 runs. So, look, uh, you can message me through Instagram, Shivam. Just, uh, yeah, just let me know where, where you'll be sending that money to. All right, Donny, 23 off 28. We've already spoken about that, so let's move on. Uh, DJ Bravo, going for a golden duck. Uh, he's a lot better of a bowler than he is a batsman nowadays, and... It's unfortunate because, I mean, in Bravo's prime, he could play up, you know, number five and was just a legendary finisher, was just someone who could hit a long ball, but he just doesn't look capable with the bat anymore, which might be a bit too early to say, but, I mean, when was the last time DJ Bravo, you know, pumped out a quick, like, 35 off 10 or, you know, 45 off 22? Like, I just can't remember the last time he did that. Happy to be proven wrong, because I love Bravo, but... I just can't remember. <laughs> uh, Dwayne Pretorius going for eight. CJ going for five. Chowdhury at a legendary two runs not out. Incredible. Um, only four extras as well, which is, you know, is really good. Two wides, two no balls. I can put up with that because in some of our matches, we seem to, you know, bowl like nine to ten extras and it's just so costly in the end. All right, the king bowlers. This is what I want to get into. Vibahav Aurora. Now, have I pronounced that right? Absolutely not. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Vibehav? Vibehav. Something like that. And then his last name is Aurora or Aurora. So, whatever. It's, it's something like that. This guy is impressive. Now, I had no idea, of course, was making his debut. I know that he's only like in that 24 age region. So he's obviously, you know, young in his cricketing career and has still got so much to learn and get better on. But very impressive. He is bowling heat. He was bowling, like, he was moving the ball. He was getting swing. There was one delivery that was a wide, but it, he, he started, he bowled the ball really short, um, like around, you know, the nipple region for the batsman. 
<laughs> and he bolted it around like just outside of off stump. The ball swung back like a mile, went around the body of, I think it might have been Chris Jordan, I can't remember, but it went around the body and then was called a wide. And I thought, how the fuck has he just done that? Like the ball, it swung in and then reversed all the way back out around the body. And I thought, this is this guy's going to be magic for this team. And, you know, after, you know, Arshdeep Singh is one of those guys who has come along, you know, it's found his great form, um, you know, just picking these fast bowlers and, and good variation bowlers out of the Ranji Trophy in the domestic formats. They come in and make an impact. He was so good. His action looks so smooth and silky and sexy. He's just like a sling action. He just runs in. It, it, it all looks like it's in one motion. He just like runs in. I don't know who to compare it to. It's I was going to say Dale Stain because, uh, but that's, you know, that's a bit too early to <laughs> compare anyone to Dale Stain. But it's just the action, you know, the smoothness about the running in. Uh, even a Josh Hazelwood is another one. That's who it reminds me of. Um, just that, they just have that sexy action. They just, you know, run in, it's a sling. It's like, a, it's like you're watching a movie in 3D, which I mean, you technically, or 4D, whatever. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I just can't. He, he, he really impressed me, so... Um, but it's only one game, so he needs to do it again. Rabada, 1 for 28 off 3. The man, Arshdeep Singh, 1 for 13 off 2. Really good. Odin Smith, 1 for 14 off 2. Got got a wicket, the big fella. Um, so that's okay. I'll let you slide. We won. That's all that matters. Rahul Chaha, 3 for 25 off 4. I don't even notice that Bishnoi is gone because Chaha has just fitted in beautifully. And he's pretty impressive. Now, I do love the Bish, but I'm very happy with what Chaha is doing. And Liam Livingston, 2 for 25 off 3. Just great bowling, great batting, great fielding. He took one catch here. He took a caught and bowled off Bravo, which if you didn't see that catch, he dove to his left hand, caught and bowled. It was just, yeah, something you see out of a Batman movie or something. Um, but hey, we get the win. Let's look at the table. Damn, we're only 4th? Oh, that's because good... Okay, that's fair enough. All right, Rajasthan, Kolkata, GT, Titans in third. The Kings in fourth. We're going to play playoffs, baby. No, okay, I won't, <laughs> I won't go too early. Uh, DC in fifth, LSG, RCB in seventh. Of course, there's only a few teams that have played the three games so far. So, yep. Uh, Mumbai in eighth, CSK in ninth. I mean, that is just a... <laughs> that is crazy to see. RCB seven, Mumbai eight, CSK ninth. And then SRH in 10. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, that's, that's cool. Um, I hope they can win at least one game. All right. The purple and orange cap. Ishan Kishan Butler. Shivam Dubé. Uh, Livingston's blasted himself into the top. Uh, and Dre Russ. The wickets. The orange. Uh, the purple cap. Umesh Yadav with eight. Rahul Chaha with six. Bravo five. Shami five. Tim Southie. Hasaranga. And Yuzi Chaha with five. So, hey. That will cap it off, guys. Um, hey, I'm so happy with that win. What games have we got tonight? We've got SRH versus LSG. Eh, I might get some sleep tonight. <laughs> now that I think about it, you know, I might go to sleep a bit earlier because staying up till 5am to watch the Punjab Kings get a win, it's worth it. But I tell you what, it leaves you feeling pretty dusty in the morning. So that's okay. That's okay. It's, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. If, if that's what has to be done, it has to be done. I'll probably watch like... Whoever bat first, and then I might go to sleep um, in this one. Hopefully, uh, Lucknow bat first, because I want to watch Rahul um, bat. That's about it. Well, not about it, but he's definitely the one I want to watch. Um, oh, shit. I didn't mean to press on that. All right. <laughs> now I can... I always say that's going to cap it off, and I never cap it off. So guess what? That's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, CSK fans, are you worried? Punjab King fans? We're smiling tonight. We're eating good tonight. Hey, that's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.